Progress on the vaccine driving the market up. Hopes being raised, too, tonight. An Operation Warp Speed official telling MSNBC he expects every American who wants a vaccine to be able to get one by June, seven months from now. Meantime, Moderna filed for an emergency authorization today for its vaccine. The company's CEO says people could get doses as early as December 21st, three weeks, if the vaccine gets approved. The filing comes on the eve of an emergency CDC meeting, during which advisors are set to vote on who should get a vaccine first. CNBC's Meg Terrell covers science and medicine for us and begins tonight's reporting. Meg, what can we expect from this meeting tomorrow? Well, Shab, this is a meeting really to set priorities. This group's job is to decide who needs protection the most. And that's because supply of these vaccines will be so limited to start. The first shipment after FDA authorization will be 6.4 million doses. That's according to Operation Warp Speed's General Gus Perna. Now, more will go out weekly, enough to vaccinate 20 million people with two doses each by the end of the year. Now, the CDC's advisory committee highlighted these groups as top priorities, but there won't be enough vaccine for them all, right? Right away. And tomorrow, this group is scheduled to vote on allocation of initial supplies, what they call Phase 1A. So should it be healthcare workers, the nation's front line against the pandemic, or the elderly, especially those in nursing homes who are most vulnerable to severe disease and death because of COVID? And where do essential workers fit in, those who keep our supermarkets running, deliver our mail and our packages, and serve as first responders? These are the questions this group will grapple with tomorrow and ultimately make a recommendation. The CDC director, Dr. Robert Redfield, then decides whether to accept it, and directors usually do. And then it's up to the states to incorporate the advice into their own priorities. Shep. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.